the primary uh, reason why we wanted to put together uh, a set of, of recommendations and guidelines around this specific topic was that we had noticed over the last uh, number of years that we have been engaged in administering and researching uh, by specific antibodies. Uh, the risk of infection is something which, uh, which comes along with it. And since most of these products are in finite duration, um, uh, either uh, until disease progression or uh, intolerance, uh, due to adverse events, the risk of infection is perpetually, uh, it, it kind of goes along with the infusions. Now, <clears throat> it could be lesser with some products. It, these are usually product specific, such as um, in the myeloma space, the risk of infections is higher with BCMA directed uh, biospecific as compared to GPRC 5D biospecifics, uh, but the risk of infection is there and multiple single center and sort of smaller studies have demonstrated that at least a, a, a third of patients who uh, receive by specific invariably uh, develop infections, you know, as, as severe as grade three and above needing hospitalizations or treatment interruptions or complete treatment discontinuations. This means that, uh, uh, centers, uh, whether they're community or academic, uh, when they put together an infrastructure of biospecifics in place, a, a certain set of guidelines, certain set of protocols and SOPs need to go in place for infection, uh, uh, preemption, prevention, surveillance, monitoring, and treatment. Um, that could be <clears throat> risk, that could be sort of risk adapted. Uh, certain uh, constructs are uh, more immunosuppressive uh, towards specific aspects of the immune system, hence leading to uh, distinctive types of infections compared to the others. So it, it needs to be a protocolized and immunologically driven set of uh, uh, guidelines that need to come along with a broader deployment of biospecifics in the outpatient setting, in the community setting, we know that patients, uh, these are these are universally available off-the-shelf products. They are there when our patients need them, and they do confer uh, uh, durable responses. Uh, at least the early data is showing that. Now, <clears throat> the focus should be on safety, making them safe, making them tolerable for our patients.